Hey guys, Matt, Iron Trap Garage, uh, doing a little episode on the Sweetheart Roadster today. Uh, so, last time was a pretty big deal, got the car rolling, which is pretty awesome, and I've been staring at it a whole lot, uh, just trying to get an idea of what needs to be changed, ride height, blah, blah, blah. So, I want the rear end to sit down just a little bit lower, and right now we are hitting on the wishbones. Uh, are hitting on the center X section, so I need to, and they're also way too long, the wishbones. So we need to cut them down, and then I need to kind of massage, either uh, heat and bend them or, or pie cut them to change the, the angles so that they kind of sweep in and connect to the center X set, uh, cross member uh, in, the, in the frame here. The other thing is, once we do all that, it's probably going to droop a little bit more. Then we're going to be sitting on the uh, rear axle tubes are going to be sitting right on the frame, so I need to notch the rear of the frame out. Uh, from my calculations, I think what I should be able to do in the back, it's about, the, uh, the frame's about three and a half inches tall uh, in the back where it curves up for the, like the natural step in the frame, um, or the natural notch. So I'm going to take about two inches out of that to get the car to drop down about two, two and a half inches, to get the car to drop about an inch and a half or two inches, That'll give us an inch to inch and a half travel, um, depending on how I, I cut everything. And then it'll leave about an inch or so side, uh, the side of the, the frame there, that we can then box in uh, and re-brace that and everything. And we'll have a little, a little C-notch in the frame, and everything should be pretty good. So, uh, again, this is probably like the hundredth time we're going to take the body off. But this is part of the process. You got to put the body on, test fit, take it off. So to get to everything, uh, I marked out everything. I need to get the body off. Then we can uh, start messing with the uh, wishbones and notching the frame. Then we can set the body back on again and see where it's sitting, the height of everything, and then hopefully uh, we can start kind of connecting the dots here. So let's get this body off and get started. So that it matches, kind of flows with the uh, 
with the center X section here. And uh, now what I needed to do was get this to transition in and get both of these sides attached into the cross member so that it kind of holds the rear in place where we need it to be. So uh, what I did is the shape, I have these bungs uh, that you can pretty much get any street rod place that uh, are threaded bungs that you can put like a Ford tie rod, Ford style tie rod in here and um, they work really well. So then the other thing I did is I took another piece of tubing here that was from a front wishbone, cut that down because it slid in really nice, the, uh, the bung slid into it really nice and then this kind of matches the shape of the rear wishbone a little better uh, and I can blend the two of them together so that it'll kind of look original when it's done. So I'm going to bevel I already beveled the one side on the wishbone. I'm going to bevel this side real good. Uh, that way we can do a couple passes with the TIG and get full penetration, uh, get it all welded and nice and smooth. And then what I did is I drilled a hole here where we're going to put uh, this a bung in. So I have this bung here. It's basically a piece of tubing that I, that I bored out. And then I, I hit it with a tapered ream that I have that is the correct angle of the taper on a Ford style tie rod. And that's going to fit inside of the frame here. And then the uh, tie rod will fit in there. This will push down. Everything will connect. And uh, kind of look pretty factory when it's done. So I'm going to taper these, this side, uh, get it tacked to the wishbone. And that will get us everything so that it's uh, threaded for the, uh, for the tie rod. And then I can get uh, a plate welded in here that's going to hold this, uh, this, this piece of tubing here that's tapered now and uh, that'll get that all set in place but I'm leaving everything kind of just like uh, a little more than just tack welded but I'm not going to fully weld everything yet because uh, until I get everything in the car and make sure I'm happy with it I don't want to fully weld anything um, because I may need to change it or modify it or tweak it a little bit as we go so I'm just going to get some real good tacks on it uh, to get everything so it's going to hold itself in place um, but it's not too much work if I have to cut it apart to, to change an angle or change something a little bit so I'll get these uh, this tacked on to the rear section and we can kind of start moving forward and hopefully get this thing so it'll uh, sit how it's supposed to sit
All right, so got the uh, the little bungs welded in on uh, each side, uh, each of the legs of the center cross member, uh, and got everything tacked in place pretty good. So now the rear actually stays where it needs to be. Uh, everything fits pretty decent, and uh, the the rest of it's just finish welding stuff. I have to take it apart. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, I'm going to make some backer plates here. Uh, out of some thicker metal to just uh, double up the material thickness just to uh, add some strength so that this bung couldn't possibly rip out uh, when it's done. So what I'll do is I'll drill a, a, a hole in that that'll slip over top and I'll uh, basically trace everything out so that uh, when you, you know, you're looking at it you won't see it uh, at all. And uh, that'll just give me a little bit of peace of mind um, when we are, uh, when the car is all together finally. So. Uh, that gets that all together. Uh, eventually, like I mentioned, I'm going to weld all this up. I have some cool ideas for just adding some um, some additional bracing in there uh, to kind of um, give that some extra strength in there. And uh, now we're pretty much ready to start moving on to the the rear notch. Uh, I want to notch the frame just a little bit to give me some extra clearance in the back. And uh, then uh, we can kind of set the body back on, see where we're at now that we got some more drop in the frame, and uh, just start connecting the dots. So that's all I got for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.